audience. I'm Adam Phillips, and I'm here today to ask you for £100,000 in return for 10% of my company, My Baby Limited. My Baby is a brand I've created to help make the lives of the modern day parent easier or just better by design. And with many new designs coming through, I'd like to introduce you to the first baby of the range called Abby. Abby is a pushchair that we've built that's built to be as good, if not better, than any competitor's product in the same price band. It's launching with Mothercare. The features on Abby are great. It has easy lock-on, lock-off foot brake, height adjustable handles, a multifunction canopy, which allows us to maintain a visual contact with our child through a peephole. We've got excellent storage underneath the pushchair and to the back of the pushchair. That's basically why Abby is as good. Now I'm going to show you why it's infinitely better. You might notice down the side of the product we make note of our baby deck technology. A busy parent on the move is often going to find it difficult to find changing facilities for their children. By simply opening Abby, taking your child out of the pushchair and clipping a button, you have a changing facility on your pushchair. The changing facility has a convenience factor, um, but coupled with this, you eliminate a lot of the hygiene risks associated with public baby changing facilities. I hope you like the product and I look forward to receiving your questions. It's a self-assured pitch by Adam Phillips from St Albans. He needs a £100,000 cash injection to launch his innovative push chair with built-in changing mat. Theo Pafitis is first to interrogate the young businessman. Um, Adam, what's your background? I have a, a company selling nursery products, uh, anything from we're doing uh, nappies and wipes through to staff uniform, office supplies. Basically, we're trying to be the one-stop shop. And is that what you're offering me an investment in, your company that sells nursery products? Or are you offering me... My baby, so the new company. A new co, not yeah. your old company? No. The what, idea does, is what does your old company make? It's core products, so um, we're selling... So give me some numbers off the top of your head. What does it turn over? A million pounds a year. A million pounds a year? How much profit does it make? Um, we're looking at £150,000 for this year, 15%. Wow, the nursery products. And who owns that? Uh, there's two other partners in the business and myself. And who owns this company? 100% mine at the moment. I'm right. trying to. So you're doing this on your own? Yeah. Wow, so what am I investing in? You're investing in a business that is going to turn over a lot of money. I mean, already this month I've turned over £75,000 in um, high chairs to Aldi supermarkets. I sold... Uh, what, what high chairs? Well... You, meant to, you showed me a pram! Sorry. Where's the high I chair? Oh, does anyone see a high chair? No. Have you seen a high chair? No. But where's the high chair come from? Uh, my baby is trying to be a children's goods sort of product, so it would be that, that place some, for the retailers. Right, what do you think you're going to do in your first year of trading? I've, I've targeted 350,000. I think we'll comfortably do half a million. You're going to do half a million? Yep. Uh, it's only one month old, it's done £75,000. <laughs> Impressive revelations from a clearly confident entrepreneur. Now, James Kahn wants to drill down into the financials. Just give us a few numbers on... So your, your forecast for this business yeah. is going to show a profit of what? Uh, we're working on trying to hit 30% GP and down to 10% net. OK, so you reckon you make about a £100,000 profit. Yeah. Assuming you didn't have the £100,000 investment from a dragon, yeah. if I then go to your projections and say, look at what you're projecting to sell, yeah. I'm not sure, do you really need the money? You're right, I can do that, but it's not where I want to be with this. I might as well just go back to nursery supplies and be happy with, with doing that and taking my salary. I want to make this into something that will really sell. I want the £7 million turnover within sort of five years. Adam's ambition goes down well in the den. But what of the product itself? Deborah Meaden wants to know. Have you got any protection on this? Patent design. Yeah, yeah. It's Baby patent is, applied for. Uh, uh, granted on uh, China and America and then uh, cleared but not granted yet on Europe. And how long have you been doing this then? It's been three years. 
So you filed your patent application three years ago, but you didn't do Europe? It, no. It's been, Why not? Been, I've never been involved in, in patent law before at all. So, we, so when did you apply for your European patent? Uh, I'm not sure that's, that's Ken's domain. Uh, who's Ken? Um, so he's an American guy. He's the guy that sort of dreamed up the invention with me. No, you just tell me you own it 100% yourself. My ba so my baby, as a company, I own 100% myself. Ken is the guy... What is the is designer? Yeah, essentially. He's, he's no, not essentially. Are there is or is he? Is he a distributor? Does he sell prams in the States? In the States he does, yeah. So, right, so he's not just a designer. So he's got a, he's got a distribution business there? Yeah. And he designed it? We, yeah, we designed it, yeah. And he's paying for this product to be manufactured? I, in, for the Mothercare deal? Yeah. No, I have. You've paid for yeah. it. Ken holds on to um, the rights for America. I have the UK and EU. So now you're telling me that you, you don't own the IP for this buggy. You only own it for the UK and, and Europe. Yeah. And he owns the rest of the world? Yeah. This time, Adam's admissions have only served to confuse the dragons. It's left Duncan Bannatyne needing some answers. Adam, is the patent in your name? Did you...? No, it's in Ken's name. All the patents are in Ken's yeah. name? And he isn't in the company My Baby Limited? No. Do, does My Baby Limited have to pay any money to Ken? No. For the patent rights? No. Have you got a written contract with Ken? Yeah. Giving you exclusive use? Yeah for three years and then a one-year rolling contract after that. So if, if we're not achieving the two containers a year, which really, if we're not, I should be giving up anyway. So your contract with Ken is contingent upon you selling two containers per year? Yeah. What does Ken care how many prams you sell? If he's given you the patent rights, he's getting nothing out of the prams, what does he care what you sell? Normally... Well, he's, he's obviously setting the, the, the price in China. Um, well, he's in China? Yeah. Well, he's... No, we've gone to a manufacturer who's producing this product, um, and he's... Because normally what happens is you pay a licence fee to the person with a patent. You're not paying a licence fee, no. but it seems like you're paying a licence fee at the other end where it's produced, because Ken is telling you yeah. what the production price is. Yeah. My concerns are that <clears throat> even if you build this salt and you're selling a million pounds worth of these, or three million in three years' time, what you've done is Ken's job. Because he comes in and he says, it's my patent, your three your leases run out, I'm taking over now. And so you've made nothing. I'm not going to invest in you, Adam, and I'm out. Thanks, sir. It's a first blow, and the young entrepreneur is struggling to get his pitch back on track. What will Peter Jones make of Adam's performance in the den? Adam, um, I don't really want to do you an injustice, but I think you're an opportunist. I actually believe this, this other person that's created this product with you at the start, how you pitched it, I actually believe they own it. And I believe that it's their product. You've helped with some of the development costs, some of the money, so you have that relationship. And I actually believe the true deal is Look, Adam, I'm, I own the product. I'll give you the rights to sell this product based on this sales target, and we'll see how it goes. And I, th I actually... That's my instinct telling me that's the real picture of the real deal. I, if I... Uh, yeah, it's whereas, not... whereas where we started, it was very much that you have jointly invented or created this product. You spent three years. Yeah. So you gave a picture of spending so long developing this and bringing this to market. Yeah. I actually don't even think you even own it. And when you were questioned, we did get out of you, ultimately, that this other person owns the patent. And yeah. we ultimately then, from there, did get out of you that you're on sales targets. I don't believe in you. OK. And that's why I'm not going to invest today and I'm out. First impression, which I'm a great believer in. You're fabulous. Thanks, Ian. But there's a but. I know. I know. You know it's yeah. coming, don't you? In business, I hate misunderstandings. 
And um, boy, join your pitch. We have had so many misunderstandings already. Appreciate so sorry, that. Sorry, but I'm out. Okay, thanks, dear. I describe my investment process. It's like a low row of switches, and as as we go through a pitch, I kind of knock those switches down, and it gets to the point where I think, right, that's it. I've got all my switches. They're all. That's it. That's it. I'm interested. I haven't got very far on that road. Right. There's a few, sure. but I haven't got very far. And we're so far away, I don't believe we're going to get there. So I might as well tell you that now. Sure. I can't find my reason to invest. I'm out. Thanks. Three more dragons walk away from the deal, and Adam's bid for £100,000 looks forlorn. And there's just one dragon left. Difficult, Adam. How do you feel about the product, James? See? I'm just contemplating you, Adam. Sure. Um, I think you're a very smart salesman. I think you've demonstrated that you can bob and weave out of a conversation quite easily. But I think you chose to be upfront, even though it didn't do you any favours. You are clearly an entrepreneur. You've been in various different situations, and my instinct tells me that more often than not, you do OK. Um, you know, the reason why I'm, I'm reflecting is I'm thinking, how difficult are you going to be to manage? I don't think I've really given that much of a different picture. I, did f I don't own the product outright. I've said Ken was selling it in the US. I w I'm not saying I, I own the product. I really want it, James, I really do. Just wondering, is it really worth all the hassle? And regrettably, yeah. I'm going to say I'm out. OK. Take care, Adam. Cheers. Thank you. After a promising start, it was just too confusing for the Dragons to invest. Adam leaves with nothing.